Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments with a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency and make money online opportunities and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors, and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel like this video and watch this video until the end because if you don't you will be automatically disqualified from the giveaway we will be sharing the random hashtag keyword daily somewhere in the video and then comment hashtag the keyword with no spaces in between in the comment section good luck now let's proceed with the latest direct in our news and until today please take these information with a grain of salt and please make sure to do your own due diligence from Intel Guru Bruce via Wiser now, the Iraqi dinar. We're hearing now it's either going to be on the forks with a new rate, either Friday night or Sunday night. My bad is Sunday after the forks comes back up after having been turned off or closed for 48 hours, which is typical every weekend. From 5 o'clock Friday to 5 o'clock Sunday, it's down. It's down so that they can reconcile accounts on forks. The word was get ready for the weekend. From News Hound, Intel Guru Mountain Goat, have they reached some sort of benchmark in the electronic digital banking reformation? Probably, it seems they have made so much progress. Also remember all this liquidity in the banks from the stashes, and hordes of currency now being deposited. Please connect the dots, and see the oncoming storm of prosperity coming to Iraq. Remember that we investors partake in this wealth, when it comes to Iraq, but only when it comes as a byproduct of all these reforms. Yes, when they finally move to forks, the plan and thus the execution of the process for the plan is moving forward nicely. It seems at a more rapid pace as we near the end of this year. From Intel Guru Frank 26, remember when Alak went to the United States Treasury and then he came back and then Sudani went to the United States Treasury in New York. Do you know where the United States Treasury is right now? In Baghdad at the CBI. During this meeting, IMF probably, WTO, well of course, they're there. What did they discuss? The financial inclusion plans in Iraq and about the digital transformation. This is all part of the monetary reform. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, the evidence is abundant. Iraq is finalizing her reforms. With what? The support of American partnerships, especially with large economic reforms and financial aspects in Iraq. These things are going to be linking the East to the West. And they told you, via what? Iraq's development road program. They're going to need the freedom of capital movement. That's going to be the real effective exchange rate. From Intel Guru Mark Z, Bank Story, spoke to the teller at my Chase Bank this morning in Arizona. I asked if this branch would be a RV center. He didn't know what I meant, so I told him about the dinar. He said he was from Iraq and still has family there. He told me that Iraq was in a renaissance and is a very prosperous nation. He also confirmed Iraq has gone to a new digital banking system. Iraq dinar will not keep that low value long. From Newshound Guru Claire, article, Financial Advisor, Increasing Iraq's IMF Share is a Step to Strengthen Dinar Stability. Quote, the Prime Minister's Advisor for Financial Affairs, Majar Mohammed Sali, confirmed today, Saturday, that increasing Iraq's share in the International Monetary Fund represents an important step in confronting the economic challenges facing the country and stabilizing the value of the Iraqi dinar. He explained that this increase constitutes an effective tool against exchange rate fluctuations and inflation problems and contributes to enhancing investor confidence in the Iraqi economy. From Intel Guru Frank 26, many people posed the question, I don't have my receipt. If I'm ever audited, what am I going to do? If I don't have my receipt, I'm going to be in the 40% tax bracket. I don't want to pay that much taxes. What do I do? Did you write a check? 
Your canceled check is your receipt. Did you use a credit card? Your bank statement from your credit card is your receipt. From NewsHound Guru Samson, article, salaries will be delayed. Fundamental changes coming to the Iraqi monetary and financial system. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, question, how are you feeling about the RV mark? From Mark Z, I am still feeling warm and fuzzy. I do know of a couple of wealth managers, redemption folks working over the weekend. I do not think we will be doing exchanges this weekend, but do think it is in the very near future. I think there is an excellent chance we could go this week. Before ending with few more last update, the hashtag keyword for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is digital. Comment down below which updates you like, you think is valuable, or got you most excited. You can be the lucky winner if you like, subscribe, and watch the main content of this video. This will be for this coming Sunday's giveaway, and the winner will be announced in one of the Sunday's videos so you do not want to miss it. From NewsHound, Intel Guru FNULNU, everything our attorneys and ancillary folks have told me has all been accurate so far. Nothing has changed in all these years. From NewsHound Guru Militia Man, those people who have hoarded mattress dinars are expecting the stock market to run big time when they change the value of their currency based off of a real effective exchange rate based off real assets, non-oil revenue. That's what's in focus right now. It's phenomenal. This is a good sign of things to come. And finally, the last update is from Intel Guru Frank 26. Every one of these articles, in my opinion, as the days go by get more and more specific. The fog is less and less. That's all for the latest updates on the Iraq Dinar. What are your thoughts of all the articles or news coming from Iraq and opinions from these Intel providers? Moreover, we posted a breaking news video today. In this video, we've focused on a significant update from Iraq. The Prime Minister's Advisor for Financial Affairs, Majar Mohammed Sali, announced that Iraq's gold reserves have reached about 150 tons. This move is more than just a stockpiling of precious metal. It's a strategic step that could indicate a major economic breakthrough and potentially signal the revaluation or reinstatement of the Iraqi dinar. We broke down what this means for Iraq's economy and its currency. Please go ahead and check it out by clicking on the link on the top right of this video, as you don't want to miss this. Lastly, we will continue to post videos about the recent events and articles supporting the changes taking place in Iraq so you don't want to miss them. Also don't forget, please drop a comment below with hashtag and the keyword and let us know what you think. If you like this content and like to support this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video. Bye.